Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have the lovely Virgo Peridot here with me. Hello. Thank Hello. you for joining me. Thank you for, Thank you for inviting me. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah, you're in town, and I thought, I'm going to get you on the show. You got me. I got you. <laughs> here you are. Here you are. And you, you're not, uh, you're, you're, you can be a bit of a hard girl to track down. You've bounced around a lot. I do. I do. I do. I'd be on the move. You, uh, you know, I'm, you keep yourself busy with your, uh, your certain set of attributes. Yeah, I got to stay busy. You stay busy. You stay if busy. I'm busy, that's where the bag is. Exactly. You're out there <laughs> making money. You're hustling. Yeah. That's, exactly. That's the thing. There's a lot of like, girls like you, uh, like Kendra Cox, like Queen Rouge. Exactly. You guys are out hustling all the time. All the time. Constantly working. Doesn't stop. 24-7. And that's the thing. Like A lot of people don't think, they look at porn and they think, or adult entertainment in general, and they think, Easy, right. They think it's easy money. Easy. They think easy. it's easy money. They do. But maybe you'd like to educate them otherwise. It's not. It's easy money, yes, but it also is a lot of grinding and elbow grease and doing this and doing that. Like we stay busy twenty four seven. Either you're promoting yourself, or you're shooting content, or you're editing. It's just always something. Do you do you do you like run your own sh- like run everything by yourself, or do you have like a team that kind of helps you? I, I have a team now. Okay. I used to do everything by myself, and then I realized, whoa, this is a lot to take on to try to do every single task by myself. Correct. <laughs> so now I have a nice little team. Yep. So it's a lot less stress. So basically, yeah. So now every, so every time somebody faps to you, they're not only supporting you, they're supporting a whole team They are of supporting people. a whole team, exactly. They're, they're keeping Americans employed. Exactly. Keep that's us all employed. That's the way of looking at it. That's the way yeah. looking at it. We are offering jobs. <laughs> <laughs> keeping, keeping the job market strong. <laughs> How Job lo- security. Exactly. And how long have you been in the adult industry? Okay. Since 2008, but as far as porn porn? Yeah. Like mainstream porn? Yeah. 2014. Still a while. It is. You've been in for a while. It is. You've, uh, and you've, you've, you've kind of shot for like all the big companies, like you shot for the Evil Angels, you shot for like the uh, Perv City. We did that. Did you do Perv City recently? I, I did a that. recent Perv City. I thought yeah. I saw that with the. Uh, and with I shot for them. Before they were Perv City. Oh, really? They were um, with Evil Angel, with Mike Adriano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, and that, is that, what, are you, what would you say you're kind of like known for, for, for the guys who aren't familiar with you and your brand? What would you say you're kind of known for? My bootay. Your bootay. <laughs> Maybe you could stand up and give us, a, a, bit, give us a really quick spin around. A little spin around for the bootay. Yeah, that is a, that is a booty right 100 there. organic. <laughs> Homegrown, organic. Homegrown booty. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your accent from? Georgia. Uh, see that to me, that is like uh, you have one of the most unique accents I've heard on a girl out here in America before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not used to the Georgia accent. It's, it, was- it <laughs> takes me by surprise every time I hear you open your mouth. I don't, it's, I don't expect it to, the sounds to come out of your face. Right. A lot of people don't. People think I'm Spanish or something. Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't think necessarily think you were Spanish. I just thought you were like, like what I would call like regular white, but you're like accent white. Accent. <laughs> yeah, you've got like an accent on you. Yeah. So for me, that's like a unique thing because normally I'm the person with the accent when I run around here. But now we both got accents. Now you're taking, you're taking, my, uh, <laughs> taking my throne I'm away. I'm taking your throne. I don't like it. We yeah, <laughs> both have a throne. There we go. King and queen of accents. King and queen of accents. Oh, that works, <laughs> that works, that works. So, okay. We talked about this really briefly before we went live. And mm-hmm. you said, you agree, you were like, guys need to know how to be better in bed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you right now, what, what makes... Uh, what makes good sex for you and what makes bad, more importantly, what makes bad sex? For you? Bad sex? Yeah. Hygiene. Huh. Definitely. Okay. What, in hygiene. what way? What kind of things do you guys fuck up with a lot? When do not wash their balls correctly? <laughs> wash your fucking cock. <laughs> wash your cock. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Number one, right there. Okay. So that cock and balls need to be washed. Cock and balls need to be washed. Most and, definitely. Any other really bad hygiene things that guys do very often? It's mostly their balls. Sometimes they don't brush their teeth. But hey, I can deal with some steak breath, but balls I can't get away from. Because your mouth's down there. Yeah, my mouth's here. You want me to <laughs> go to town and it smells horrible and I can't. At least with your breath, I can turn my face like this. I can turn my face like this. Right, right, right. You can't run from the balls. Okay. Like, I'm surprised that balls can smell that bad. I'm being honest. I mean, as a guy who washes his balls, it maybe well, I'm... See, you have good hygiene. I mean, that's, but the that's, the, that's why I can't relate. that's had plenty of balls in my face. <laughs> Definitely. 
they can get quite stanky. <laughs> quite stanky. Uh, how, would you have? Do you have any idea, like how many dudes you've you've worked with at this point? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> no. No idea. We're t- we're t- are we talking in the hundreds? You think, or maybe thousands? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Plead the fifth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's up there. It's up there. It's okay, up we'll, there. It's we'll say up it's up there. there. All right, we'll just say it's <laughs> up there. Uh, okay, well that makes that's what makes bad sex. Then what makes then what would make a good sex? Good sex. Yeah. Good sex. I'm a passionate person, so if you good sex is when you're not trying to run. Don't rush. Mm. We're not rabbits. We're not on a time schedule. Mm-hmm. Take your time and just enjoy. Mm. That's what good sex is. Huh. Bit of pa- a I bit say. of patience. Patience. Because mm. some of you guys just want to be like, da 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 da. Like, we're not rabbits, okay? We're not trying. There's not a race to win. You ain't got to <laughs> go to Pound Town. I know some guys who will use, he'll throw out, like, if they, whoever comes first wins. So the guy just really quickly is like, I won. You won? No, you <laughs> lost. <laughs> that is losing <laughs> the race. All right. So you, okay, yeah. So that was going to be my next question was going to be, uh, would you say you're more of a, a uh, rough sex girl or a passionate sex girl? And it sounds to me like you're on the passionate side. Passionate side in my personal life, rough sex on set. Really? Yeah. Is that a deliberate choice or is it just how you've been cast? It's just how it happens. Because some reason when the camera turns on, I'm a little bit of a different person. Huh. Than when I'm, the camera's not rolling. That's like very... My int- sex is different. That's re- See, I, I hear that a lot with porn stars. Yeah. Because it's like, for me at least, it's like when, when I'm having sex for myself, it's like I get to enjoy it. Exactly. So it's like, yeah. I want to I do some pretty... Like, I, I, I actually get... I can actually do more with my hands one, like if I'm with a girl one-on-one because my hand, like in porn, my hands get in the way of shit. Yeah, you gotta move, you gotta open, you gotta, I gotta make open, sure you right? see this, make sure you see that. Exactly, I gotta, your face has to be visible all times, your tits have yeah, to be visible all exactly. times. So I can't like choke a girl and like slap her. No, I didn't know, but you know? when you're not shooting, you can. Exactly, so I can, I can be like more me. Exactly. In my real life versus like porn, I have to open up and twist and yeah. turn. And I can't, and all the things that I know my partner will enjoy, half the time I can't do them for her. Exactly. So it kind of blows. It's it kind of sucks a bit like that. Right, it does. Open your eyes. Show me your eyes. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what about? Okay, let's ask about. Let's talk about that. How important is eye contact for you during sex in, I, in your personal life? Let's just say personal life. Eye contact in both is mm. very, is important. Mm. Um, but yeah, eye contact definitely gets the juices going. Gets it going. Gets it going. When, <laughs> when a guy can like lock eyes with you and like not flinch and like keep it there. And keep it there, exactly. Yeah. Do you find Stay that a lot do you find that a lot of guys kinda get can kind of shy away from making eye contact during sex? Yes, they do. Yeah. For some reason I don't understand. New guys, like the new talent, mm. they're the worst. <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> Shit on them. How <laughs> how how are they the worst? How they're they the worst. The worst. <laughs> they're so like starstruck they're shy Mm. they don't know how to do stuff with the camera yep so they're just kind of a little bit timid maybe timid yes i'm trying to think of a word try to be nice timid (laughs) it's correct okay we'll use the word timid uh okay that that leads on to my next thing it's like what as like a i mean you've you know you're quite experienced in the in the sack and you've you've been on say a lot in your personal life, do guys get intimidated very, very easily by you? Yes, absolutely. Especially because they're like, they, they know who you are. I think that's the problem. Right. They know who I am. And they're like, they're oh, like, oh shit. no. She Virgo, I'm fucking Virgo. I can't believe I'm fucking Virgo. Yeah. And you're talking about like, I'm a third person. Like, yes. is there somebody else in the fucking room? Yeah. <laughs> Who's yeah. with us? Uh, so they'll actually say that out loud. <laughs> they'll say it out loud while being fucked. <laughs> Don't do that. Pro tip, guys. <laughs> if you ever happen to, you know, seduce this lovely young lady here, don't say that out loud. Don't say that out loud because you might just get lucky one day and pick me up somewhere. Exactly. Where would okay? Where where do you go to get picked up? I'm the most. Where important. would they even find you? Target. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Strip club. So you like to like, as in you work at the strip club? Or you want to go just chill out at the strip club? No, I don't work at no strip club no more. There's no need to sling it around a pole. I go sit and I throw my dollars at them. At them. Huh. Yes. So we'll find you in a strip club. You will find me at a strip club. I like that. Definitely. Target or the strip club. There you go. Target or the strip club. That's, a, that's where you go to find a, a lovely curvy lady like Virgo. Exactly. Huh. 
And then don't act starstruck. Don't act starstruck. Definitely don't act starstruck. What would, yeah. Like, how often do you get hit on in your like everyday life? Every time I walk out my door. Yeah. Do you, is it because you get, are you getting recognized or are you just getting straight up hit on? Both. Mm. I would say 50 50. Yeah. Yep. You know my ass? It, I can't hide it. I can put on a sweatshirt. I can put on some baggy pants. I mean, it's taking up my, most, half this couch right now. Yeah, you, I'm not you gonna. Should. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's. It sure uh, is. You need a bigger couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big couch. It's a pretty big couch, but so is my ass. Do you know how many inches wide your butt is? The last time it was measured, it was fifty inches. Damn. Yeah. Holy shit. A lot. That is yeah. <laughs> That is a lot of ass. I love uh, ass. I ain't complaining. I love ass. So okay, that's you know. why I'm here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> look, <laughs> guilty as charged. I'm a man who likes a curvy, thick girl. Love it. Sue me. I don't care. <laughs> like, I go like because you're. It's a, a lot of things that. Okay, so when I talk to guys who are outside of sort of the porn circle, mm -hmm. outside of adult entertainment, they're they're often really surprised that like thicker girls will make the kind of money that you guys do. That's what they are, yeah. They're surprised because they think- They are surprised. They, they think porn and they think like, oh, it's only like the super thin, like ultra like Barbie doll girls will they, make money. That's what they think, yeah. But that ain't the case. Not the case at all. You guys <laughs> really rake in the cash. For sure. Like yeah. girls like you, girls like uh, Queen, girls like Kendra Cox. Yeah. Uh, like all, and uh, Danny Banks. Yeah. Like all you big, like all you porgs. Yeah. You big booty white girls. That's where it's at. That's where the money is. That's where the real, real cash For is. For sure. And do you think most of your, if you could just sort of describe like who a typical fan of yours is, do you, would you have like a, if you could give them like a persona? I used to have that persona, but as years have went by, it has, I'd be totally surprised by some of the fans. Huh. Yeah, I can get super nerdy. Yep. Like super, super nerdy to... A straight up doughboy thug person, like it's right. just, like, there's no in between no more. Huh. It's just it used to always be like when I first got started, I used to get all a lot of you know black people, yep. and then the Spanish people, huh. and then white people started coming over to the fat ass side. I'm like, oh, come on over, <laughs> the, the team fat ass, <laughs> the team fat ass. So <laughs> it, it has changed since I first got started for sure. Uh, see, okay, I'm not like I'm glad that you said that because I have kind of noticed that that. Big booty white girls, porgs, right, have become more popular amongst like the white population. Yes, becoming a hot commodity. You are becoming a hot. It's the trendy thing now. Like, I mean, look, yeah. you just look around here in Miami. Every girl's getting their ass injected to try and look like you. Exactly. But you got it all natural. You got it all natural. Right. And that's where all the baddies out here are like, <laughs> you know, going getting surgery just yeah, to get that fat ass for sure. And it's so it's like it's a trend. I think it's like it's definitely becoming a trend now. Definitely. You know? The number one trend. Everybody's getting their ass done. Getting the uh, uh, Brazilian butt lifts and whatnot. Correct. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk. Okay. In, okay. Back to bedroom stuff, right? In the bed. How important is like noise to you? And I'm, I'm not specifically talking about dirty talk. Noise if, is very important. If a guy is like silent. No, I don't like silence. <laughs> I don't like silence. <laughs> don't be silent because it makes me feel like you're doing something right. You ain't liking nothing. Huh. It makes, least, it makes you feel like you're doing it, something wrong. Right. Is the, are you, he's not enjoying himself? Like, like, Why isn't he enjoying himself? I need a little, uh, uh, some, some moans, some groans, some, 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 of, that, some of that, whatever that is. <laughs> right, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> okay, right. cool. Cause I think, a lot of, I think a lot of dudes are kind of self-conscious about being, cause women can be, everyone likes a woman who's vocal in the right. bedroom. Like everybody like, everyone likes hearing a woman moan. Exactly. You know, no one has ever said, shut up. <laughs> when, a, when, a, when a woman is in bed, like moaning and groaning, there's never in the history of humanity has no. someone said, told a woman to shut up. But Wait, like, I have on set. Bullshit. Because- What, I, you told a girl to shut up? No, I was told to shut up by the talent because I was talking so much shit. Oh, well, that's like, different. Somebody come tell Virgo to shut up. Like you were talking trash. Yeah, because he talked a lot of trash to me before <laughs> the scene. That's one thing you don't do. Don't trash talk Virgo. Don't trash talk me because I'll trash talk you. Okay, fine, that's fair. <laughs> okay, but in terms of like, uh, like just moaning and groaning, no, surely not. Correct. No. Yeah, definitely. But I think a lot of dudes kind of have a bit self-conscious actually about making noise in the bedroom because it's not like no one talks about this shit. 
No one, talk, no one says, I've never seen a, I've never seen anyone other than me tell dudes, hey, moan and groan a bit. Like yeah, girls like it. Grown, girls actually do. like when they know that they're pleasing you. We do like it. Yes, we do. There you go. So heard moan it. and groan. That heard way it. we know. Heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Okay. And then in terms of like, so you talked about like rough sex on set because something com- comes out of you when you're on camera that kind of- Right. That, that you're, that's, is that your, would you say that's like your porn persona? I would say so. Yeah. Versus your personal so. life, it's the more like passionate stuff. What, what would, how would you define, like what does passionate sex mean to you though? How would you like define it? I wish I really knew the question, the huh. answer to that question. Huh. <laughs> because I mean, even in my personal life, if I'm into you, you could choke me, you could slap me, mm. you could force me down. Mm. I guess it depends on the person. Mm. Mm. But definitely all of the fast sex is not passionate to me at all. Because for me, that's, mo- that's, that's very much for the camera. Yeah, for the camera. Because you, like, you can't grind and get into the right spots. Especially when, when you're, when you're pounding you a, mil- a million no. fucking miles an hour. Exactly, you're definitely not gonna hit everything you need to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. Okay, so what do you think women could do to learn to be better in the bedroom? As a woman who's you know quite proficient in the bedroom, you've had several partners. You kind of know your way around a man's body. What do you think the average woman, any women listening to this, could learn from a porn star about pleasing well, their man better in the bed? From my experience, mm. from what guys tell me, yeah, a lot of women do not like to suck dick. Really? That's what I heard. Huh. Maybe it's because of their balls. Because the balls aren't clean? Maybe it's because the balls are stinky. <laughs> Maybe if you wash your balls, your girl will suck your dick. Step number one. <laughs> it, step number one is always wash your balls, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> always. Well, then, so you hear that, yeah, so most of these chicks aren't out there giving their guy like a knob job. Correct. E- even like, even like, like foreplay wise? A lot of girls. Because guys, you know, they come and they complain. Like, I'm a psychologist too sometimes. Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so they say that, yeah, the girl does not do the foreplay. God damn. They want it done to them, but they don't want to do it to their guy. Huh. Is that more, is that like every guy or is that more like black dudes? Is it more white, white dudes? I'm, I'm curious from, about it like this. I've heard it from different people. Yeah. 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 Wow. Huh. Because I know a lot of guys, uh, like it's weird to me. Like, but it's a, it's a whole bunch of this whole segment of men who have a problem with like going down on a girl. Correct. And that makes Correct. that makes no sense to me. I'm a right. I'm a fan me. of eating pussy. Right. I like eating pussy. <laughs> exactly. That's just me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you swing both ways, right? Right. Exactly. So you like that as well. And it, it's to me, it's sort of like it feels a little bit tit for tat sometimes with with people. Right. It's like, oh, if he doesn't suck, my, if he doesn't go down on me, I'm not gonna go. Down I'm gonna him. suck his dick. Like it's a bit of like <laughs> vitriolic like But that. some people, but some guys don't like to go down for some reason. Mm. Maybe she didn't wash herself one time and she's thick. Well, okay, so I have <laughs> heard that. I've had guys, girls yeah, have had, exactly. they have one bad experience like that where the girls was unclean and yep. it's like, ugh, and that's put him off for life. Right? Makes sense, I can see it. Whereas I, like, I, I, I've probably only had that experience like once. Right. And that was on set where the girl didn't clean herself probably. I've had that before. Yeah. But I will be straight up like, hey, you'll tell, can you'll you tell please, her. like you're here, you, you need some products? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. You please need, go wash yourself. Go douche, go do this, yeah, go do that. go clean yourself, yeah. And like one of the things that I'll do is if I'm on set and the girl has like bad breath is I'll like wash, like take some yeah. mouthwash in front of her and do that and then hand it to her. Yeah, what's up? Exactly, just like that. Gum is a good thing. What's on gum? <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of gum, right? To be honest, because it's like I want to. I'm gonna spit it out somewhere. I gotta get rid of it. It's like oh, it's a pain in the ass. So I'll just like mouthwash the whole thing. That's a good idea. And I won't mouthwash my balls. Uh, <laughs> oh, some, oh, who was telling me that? Um, somebody was telling me. Oh, it was a gay porn star. I was on this. I was on this interview with, with another. So it was me. It was Sylvia Sage, me, and uh, a gay porn star. I can't remember his name. But he, he was like a contract guy. And okay. he was telling me that they do something, that there's something they put on like the gay porn stars. They put something on their, on their cock and balls to make it minty fresh. So that when the other dude is sucking him off, it tastes like a breath mint. <laughs> and I'm like, that is genius. Like, why can't we get that for Where our do industry? We get that at? Why, why can't we get that for our industry? The girls would love that. That's something I'm gonna have to go through. Yeah, you, 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 fi- you should find that shit. Yeah, <laughs> can just, you just 
spread this on, please. And just have it ready yes. for the next time you. Uh, you they were like, let me just put this on for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, just like, it'd be perfect. It was like fresh. it was like a baby wipe or something. And you're just that like, would be great. And then bang, I'm sure minty, there. minty fresh. Want well, if not, if not, I've just had the next million dollar idea. Hey, there you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, in the same way that like the porn industry keeps Cetaphil in business. Is for sure. And baby wipe businesses in business. De- definitely. Uh, we, can, we can forge a new frontier with minty fresh balls. Minty fresh balls. Uh, and that's what it's going to be called. It's going to be called minty fresh balls. I love it. Uh, you and I will be on the cover of it. Uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of anything wrong with this business. I can't either. You know, we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. So you obviously, you have, how many thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers do you have on Instagram right now? My Instagram, because it keeps getting deleted, I have 162,000. How many Instagrams have you gone through? Four. Holy shit. <laughs> they don't like us sports stars. No, and they especially don't like you you thicker girls. Right? They really don't like you thicker girls. It's horrible because it, we can't do what everybody else can do, which is sad. Because there's a lot of Instagram models, quote unquote, floating around on, on, on Instagram, showing off their arse. Everything. Off their, like showing off everything. And... But because you've got a bigger butt or a bigger set of tits, when you do it, it's suddenly flagged. Yeah, it's, so, it's not right. I think it's got something to, do, something to do with like, the algorithm must like measure the amount of skin in the picture <laughs> or something. It probably does. It's like, oh, if it's over a D cup, then it's, it must, it's like, out. It's out. It must be- Take it away. You know, uh, sexual material. <laughs> sexual material. Something like that. So for, okay, for, how big, what was your biggest account? What did it get up to? I had 450,000 Ooh, damn. when they took it down. You're popular. Yeah. All right, you're, cl- you're clawing your way back. Clawing your I'm way back. slowly clawing my way back. What's the, key, what's the key to growing on Instagram as, a, as a, like a, an adult model? Interaction. Right. As with anything, I think consistency. Yep. So Get is it interaction with the fans or just po- interacting with the app regularly? Your fans, the people. Yep. You got to keep your fans happy. They want something all the time. Yep. Do this, do that, do this. They want booty all the time? They want, yeah, show me them cheeks. <laughs> Pretty consistent. Pretty consistent. <laughs> Look, they're, they're easy to please. Just show me some cheeks. Yeah, show me some cheeks. Don't, never mind your face. We don't want that selfie. <laughs> we want a booty selfie, they okay? Bo- do you get that? Do you get guys coming up and doing a booty selfie with you? I have, yes. Not, Plenty of guys. So they're like, they're like, I'm not going to get a photo with your face. I'm going cr- to crouch down and get a yes. photo with your booty. Yes. How does that make you feel when you get that? At first, I felt some type of way, but now I'm like, ah, whatever. You're used to it now. Now I can go out with nothing. My makeup with like a total bum up here. It doesn't huh. matter. And that, that's a good point. It doesn't matter. It's like, ah, oh, well, fine. It doesn't they're, matter. They're just going to take a photo of my ass, so no, it's all I'm good. good. It's like I just wear my leggings. We're straight. Damn, that's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> right? Uh, okay. So, obviously, you have a lot of men sliding up in your DMs. Definitely. Definitely. What kinds of guys are like sliding in your DMs? I do have a lot of blue checks. Yeah, I was gonna say you. I'll be. I guarantee you'd have a lot of blue checks. Um, athletes are my number one blue checkers. Athletes. Athletes are my number one blue checkers. What kind of athletes? I have base uh, basketball and football. Okay. I don't know where you baseball players are, but you could slide up in there too. Okay. And I had, <laughs> I had a few soccer players. A few soccer players. A few soccer players. Really, like Americans yeah. or like international? No, international. Huh. That's very interesting. Yeah. But mostly, again, this doesn't surprise me that you have NBA players and football players oh, in your DMs. That is oh, not surprising at all. <laughs> uh, call it like yeah. call it a stereotype, if you will. For but, sure. But <laughs> the uh, you know black dudes typically like a woman with a big booty. Exactly. And so, uh, did you have do you have your phone on you still right now? Was it over there somewhere? Oh, it's over there. Let's, do you reckon we can go grab it. Okay. And we'll, we're going to have have a bit of an adventure through the okay, goes, uh, right through her Instagram DMs. And uh, you get a shot of that booty on her on her way out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shot of that thickness. Are those the TikTok leggings? Uh, the first TikTok leggings. Huh. But then they have the other ones. And they've like been, they've improved them. Maybe these are YouTube leggings. YouTube leggings. Well, now they are. Now they are. Now they're definitely YouTube leggings. Now they're definitely YouTube leggings. All Let's right. Bringing it on back. All right. Going in the DM. That's all right, all right, all right. Let's 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 scroll through some of these DMs. We're not going to sh- we're not going to incriminate anybody. We're not going to say any names, but it's just it's just always fun because I do this I've done this a few times on my show to scroll through some of the DMs of my co-stars just to give you gentlemen listening an idea of the world that she lives in. Like <laughs> how like how many for a start? How many a day do you think you get? 
I can't even keep up to be honest. Okay, let's let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. So what, like that was like four hours ago. All right. <laughs> if I let's see uh, how many in page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine in a page. All right, let's go back twenty four hours. How many times have I scrolled? Uh, one. <laughs> oh, this, I'm not even. This is okay. This is your. This is your regular. I'm looking. At, let's get the requests. This is the fun part. Oh yeah. The ones who don't get, who don't even know you. They don't. This is the. This is the one. This is the juice. This is where all the juice is. The juice is all up in the message request section. Exactly. And there's so many of them. It's not even loading. <laughs> I really hope. I really hope you watch. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get nine a page. All right. That's one page. Oh god. That's. Two pages. That's three pages. That's four pages. Okay, that's you've clean. You've gone through them all. Yes. That was like two weeks ago. I have to clean it out every now and then. You clean it out. How how often are you cleaning it out? Well, not since two weeks ago. Not since two weeks ago. <laughs> okay, well that but that was like yeah. uh, four pa- like four nines. Yeah, it's like you are talking at least at least like forty. Is and that's that's fifteen hours ago. That's yeah. not even a day. You've done this recently. Yeah. So like you're for sure. yeah in a day you're probably getting at least like fifty DMs a day. Definitely. At least. Definitely. Okay. So that's the starting point, gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> of being of being an international porn star. Yep. Uh, I would like to have anal with you. All right. That's that's very convincing. Uh, baby, full night, uh, full sex night all. Okay. What that means? Okay. Whatever that is. Uh, a lot of dudes asking you to book you. BBW number one. Okay. Okay. Uh, good night, Virgo. Right. Good night. So beautiful. Uh, can I be your cuckold? You could be. If you pay enough. Correct. If you pay the gentleman. If you pay enough. Uh, so big. I'm assuming he's talking about your butt. Pretty sure. Uh, I love you. Uh, lots of kisses. Lots of hellos, highs. You so fucking hot. All right. Uh, love, Mammy Culote. Is that Spanish? Is that, maybe? Is that someone translate that? Uh, good. This is actually very tame. Uh, great big fat ass. Okay, now we're getting more like it. Uh, I asked this question. Hold on, baby. I'm, I probably doesn't want to actually click on any of these because I'm like these might be kind of. I don't know. So, I'm Iranian and I really love you and I'm sure that your best answer will be. Oh, this is like a response to your story. Okay, dokie. Mama Sita Weed. Okay, that is just. Uh, my Some, name? Someone Perfect. replying with your name to oh, you. Right. That's, I'm, I'm, that's I'm, great. I'm, well, that, I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> I didn't know that was me. Thank you. For well done. Uh, yummy. Okay. You're just getting okay. You're getting like a lot of responses just to your story. Okay, let's go back to the two week one old ones. Is it? Have you cleaned out all the really fun juicy ones, Virgo? Sometimes I do. Oh, damn it, Virgo. <laughs> I want all the juicy stuff. Uh, here we go. Hey, can I book you? Me or more? Marry me? Here we go. Oh, does he have a, any kind of proposal? No, he just says marry. Oh, come on, get, get some specifics there, man. Uh, fan fuck, question mark, uh, delicia. Yep, yep. People asking to see you in that person. That was a whole paragraph. I that was a big paragraph. Answer. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> You're so bad. I like that. Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, I just wanted to express. I, see, this is the ones I like, the simpy ones, the ones that are really, really like detailed in their, <laughs> in their praise of you. I just wanted to express how beautiful I think you are. You're such an, admira- an inspiration to admire and truly a blessing of trust, beauty to embrace. Your oh. beauty is so unique and once of a kind. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Des. I'm not, actually I'm not going to say his name. That's, that's, I told you I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> you're really beautiful. If you're ever, ever traveling to New Orleans, you have a friend here. Well, thank you. I have no plans, so thank you so much, though. Uh, hashtag ready, get pregnant. No, nope, not getting pregnant. Thank you. Keep your babies over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh Oops, that was just somebody who, who tried to video chat you a billion times. I have my uh, video chats cut off, for, just so y'all know. It's not going to go This through. is the thing I don't understand. It, like how I get this as well. How many dudes just randomly try to video chat you yeah. on fucking Instagram? That's I'm why like, I had to cut it off or that I don't even get the calls no more. Or I don't either. I'm like, what? Yeah, what why it's crazy. are you, you doing this? You just randomly this? video calling who even, I don't even do that with people I know. I who don't the, either. Who the hell <laughs> randomly like, hey, video can calls? can I FaceTime you? <laughs> but on Insta- who video calls people on Instagram? I ever? have no idea. Like never, I wonder if any, any of those have ever actually been picked up by anybody ever. I don't think so. I've never seen it. Um, I've never picked up. Uh, what if I wanted to, how do I, how can I shoot a scene with you? Uh, you've been fire since Porg Tube, all right? Okie dokie. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh, you'll probably never see this, but you are beautiful. Ha ha. Ha ha, see it. <laughs> Saw it. <laughs> 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 and he's trying to plug his album. Pretty cool. 
Uh, this guy said, like, he met you. Yeah, you get the general idea. You get the general idea. A, you're just constantly being praised. Just constantly. Constantly. So yeah. how, how, what, is this, what does this do to your self-esteem? Makes me feel beautiful. <laughs> okay, that, well, that's good. Because, it, you know... Just, it, it does help you to get out there and keep going. Really? You know? Yeah. Huh. For sure. Do you ever get... Do you ever, like, lose motivation? To keep going? And, and, I and have. I mean, I think with anything, you're going to, at some point, you're going to be a little burnt out. Yeah. And you just take a little break. I'm and sucking all like, that dick. Yeah, man. Sometimes it means a lot. Joel, Joel gets tired. <laughs> the Joel definitely gets tired sometimes. You're like, you know what? I need a little break. All right, fine. I'm sucking dick. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> take, it, take the afternoon off. Take the afternoon off. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Well, Virgo, that was, that was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Scrolling through your DMs, getting to know you a bit better. Let everybody watching know where they can find you, what your Instagram is, what your Twitter is, what your OnlyFans is, all the places you would like them to go check you out. You can check me out everywhere. But well, my Instagram is virgoparadot, the number two. For, for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Until it changes. <laughs> Until it goes away and we start a new one. Mm. Uh, my Twitter is msvirgoparadot. My OnlyFans is onlyfans.com slash... Miss Virgo Paradox. Same as my Twitter. There you go. Snapchat, Virgo Paradox. There is no Facebook. So if you find one, it's a lie because they banned me a long time ago. <laughs> no Virgo in my name. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing. No, that's all. There we go. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today, my dear. Thank you for having me. All right. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>